What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. So if you're using an iPhone and suddenly realizing that your iPhone is just getting slower, especially when you're trying to browse a website, maybe it's getting stuck at the same time. So if you're having any problem related to your internet, don't worry because in this video, we're going to go ahead and show you some easy tips and tricks that you can follow to fix your problem. Now, the very first things I want you to do is simple. Now, let's say you have um, connected your internet with your iPhone. Let's say you're either you're using cellular or Wi-Fi. Now, it's a quick way to do a troubleshoot. You simply can swipe it down from the bottom and you simply can turn on that airplane mode and leave it around five seconds afterward. Go ahead and turn it off. Now, let's go ahead and check whether your internet speed is getting back to work or not. Now, let's say I've done that process but didn't work out. The next things you got to be checking is your cellular so especially for those who are using cellular data now if you see the low data mode is turned on on your iphone then the problem can happen now all you can do just go ahead and open up your settings and scroll down to your cellular and go ahead and tap your cellular data options and then if you see your low data mode is on then all you want to do is just go ahead and turn it off and afterward your problem will be solved now let's say you have done doing the process on your cellular but what happens when you're connected with your wi-fi and for your wi-fi network as well you got to check the same settings whether you turned on that low data mode options on your iphone for that wi-fi network now all you want to do is just go ahead and tap your settings and scroll down to your Wi-Fi and go ahead and tap your I button and it will also tell you on the down that whether it has the low data mode is turned on or not so now go ahead and tap your I button and scroll down to your low data mode go ahead and turn it up and then you'll be able to get the best or that let's say fastest internet possible on your iPhone now let's see you have done all of the process that we have seen so far now at this point you are still complaining that your problem have not get resolved now all you want to do you simply want to change your dns network to get or to boost off your internet speed now to do it once again go ahead and open up your settings and go ahead and open up your wi-fi and tap on this i option one more time and now scroll down to the bottom unless you find this option called configure dns now go ahead and tap configure dns and now if you see it set it automatic now go ahead and tap manual now go ahead and remove this one if you see that's added already and now go ahead and tap add server and add the DNS server. Now all I want you to type just go ahead and type 8.8.4.4 and, and at the same time go ahead and tap plus and type 8.8.0.0 .8 .0 .0. and now go ahead and tap save and then your problem will be solved. Now afterward, go ahead and check whether your internet speed got back to work or not. Even after doing that process, if you're still having the same problem or you're finding that your browser is still taking time to load up, then last but not least things that you can do, you simply can give a reset network settings on your iphone to fix that problem now to do it go ahead and tap your settings scroll down to your general and then scroll down to your reset options and then you will see this option called reset network settings now before you go ahead and tap reset network settings there are a few things you need to be careful with because once you have done that it will erase all of this information related to your wi-fi network as well as your bluetooth network and your uh, vpn as well now make sure to take a note of your wi-fi password and and afterward go ahead and tap reset network settings and your iphone will take auto restart and your problem will be solved now let me wait unless the iphone get back to work again and then i'll reconnect and i'll show you whether the problem is solved or not now after that go ahead and reconnect to either cellular and the wi-fi network now after reconnecting your iphone to either cellular and the wi-fi network now let's go ahead and check whether it's working or not now let me just go ahead and open up a browser all right guys so as you guys can see it is working perfectly fine we don't really have no more problem on our iphone that means our problem have fixed and hopefully the problem that you were facing is fixed by now all right guys that's all about this video so if you guys have any questions to ask you can feel free to let us know in the comment sections and that's all about this video. Thanks for watching and see you next time.